Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, intermittent fasting diary here that I have on Cherokee Hacks Life. Um, obviously, I'm going to be talking about a lot of other stuff besides uh, the fasting thing, but this is kind of the thing that has my focus right now. It's kind of one thing I'm trying to really focus on and get a lot of information out to you guys. Um, yesterday was my day five, which is pretty cool. So day five, I went for 16 hours um, fasting, and I went for a six-hour window where I was eating. So I started eating... Uh, what was it? Yesterday, Thursday, I stopped eating around 7. And then I went for um, all the way till 11 o'clock um, fasting, which is a full 16 hour window. And then I started eating from 11 to about 4. So I, I did a little bit shorter window on actually eating, um, which actually wasn't too bad. It turned out to be pretty just fine. Um, it's actually getting a lot easier, I feel like it is. Um, one thing, I guess, that made a difference in terms of how my body actually reacted um, was that I didn't work out yesterday. I was just exhausted. I was just tired. Um, I don't think that has to do so much with the food because um, even when I was eating those crazy six, seven meals a day and just breaking everything down, I was still not eating. Uh, excuse me. I was still feeling tired, basically. So... What I wound up doing was just kind of taking Friday off. I usually don't work out on weekends, so Saturday and Sunday is kind of my time with me and my family. Um, so I'm definitely not going to be working out this weekend. I'll still be putting up videos over the weekend, just kind of giving you guys updates on what exactly is going on with the IF thing. Um, but definitely I don't work out on weekends. And you guys can pick whatever days work for you for not working out. Some people don't like working out three days in a row, so they'll do two days, take off a day, work two days. but. That still breaks into your weekend. I'm, I'm not the weekend work type. Man. I'd rather take my time and just chill, relax, do whatever the hell I want to do. Um, and in fact, what I'm going to actually wind up doing today is actually cheat a little bit. So with the cheating, um, I'm breaking my fast. It's about 11, 17. So I'm going to break my fast and check out what I'm eating right now. Yeah, buddy. Some frosted flakes. So um, that's what I'm going to break my fast with. I haven't had any Frosted Flakes in about the last two weeks. Um, that's like my favorite cereal in the world. Um, and then I'm gonna break it with that. Later on, I'm probably just gonna eat whatever the hell I want. Honestly, I might go up to like 4,000, 5,000 calories today. I don't give a shit. It's gonna be my cheat day. My cheat day is gonna be Saturday. Sunday's usually a lazier day for me. I usually just either chill around the house or do stuff around the house, trying to clean stuff around the house. Um, or just kind of chill out with the family, just kind of mellow out, go to church or whatever. Um, so it's a real mellow day for me on Sunday. And usually I don't eat too much anyway. So Sunday is going to be kind of my go back to my regular phase day. So after I'm done um, eating today, and I'm going to do a straight six hour, seven hour window probably of just eating whatever the hell I want. Doesn't really matter. Not counting calories or anything. Don't really give a shit. And then going for probably a full 18 or maybe even 20 hours. Until the next day when I start eating again, so that way I'm right back into my phase back when Monday comes around and I start really hitting the gym hard again. Um, so Monday, I'm definitely going to be putting up some workouts from the last couple days, so definitely stay tuned for those from Wednesday and Thursday. I didn't get to put them out. Um, I've just been really busy with work. Um, and then hopefully everything kind of turns out right. I want to address kind of one thing that seems to be co keep popping up on my Tumblr account with different questions that people ask me. Um, basically, the way it breaks down is... I don't change how many calories I've been eating between the six weeks prior that I started this and the six weeks that I'm going to be doing this going forward. And hell, I might even wind up doing it even more if I find it to be really beneficial. My calorie intake is the same. I was taking about 1,800 calories prior um, to doing the intermittent fasting thing. I bumped it up to about 2,000, which is my maintenance calorie level. Um, and in fact, you can go to different websites and they'll give you all sorts of stuff. We'll pro I'll probably make a video on that later where... There's a freaking range for every single site you do um, where it asks you how many calories you take in. But basically what I do is taking in the same exact amount of calories that I took before starting the IF thing, same amount of calories. So there is no difference in when I'm eating. It's just in what I'm eating. It's really just the window in which I'm eating it in. Um, instead of before, I would basically just eat small little meals all day long, chop up my chicken that I would cook at home and eat it along the way, um, or like split my chipotle in half so that way I'm not, you know, feeling like I'm stuffed or whatever when I eat it. And honestly, with this IF thing, I just eat whatever the fuck I want, but just keep it within a certain calorie limit. So yesterday I had about 2,100, 20, uh, yeah, like 2,100 calories. Not that big a deal. 
um, and then today I'm again gonna have like 5,000. Um, so definitely stay tuned. If this is your goal, if your goal is to actually start losing weight, your goal is actually start shredding and stuff like mine is. Um, I think I bulked up a little bit. I didn't bulk up a lot, um, but now I'm definitely gonna go into like a little bit of a shredding phase. See what it does for me. Make it your goal. Do what you gotta do. Just make it happen. That's what I always say. Make it happen.